What's up everybody? Thanks for checking out Hunt, Shoot, Live. Pumped about this episode. Done a ton of flashlight reviews in the past. If you guys are looking for hunting flashlights, man, you should check out my product review playlist because I have a ton of flashlight reviews. Uh, I've done so many hunting flashlight reviews and this is one for a company that I have not done a review on ever before. This is the Ace Beam L19 2.0. This is a long-range tactical flashlight. It uh, operates off of one of the bigger batteries. that uh, I like the 18650. This does not operate off of the 18650. This operates off of the larger 21700. And those batteries have a... Uh, well, I'll just show you. Oops, I didn't mean to turn it on. Those batteries have a USB-C charging port directly on the battery itself. So you'll see right there on the top, you plug that USB-C cord right into that and it charges directly into the battery. So there's no external charger that the battery sits in. That's handy and uh, these seem to be good batteries, but uh, the vast majority of my night hunting equipment takes those 18650s. Uh, but that certainly doesn't cut down from the quality. If anything, I guess it's a little bit better. That's a bigger battery, and it's a little more convenient charging option. Now, they advertise that they offer these in green and in white. This one, obviously, is the green version. Uh, many, many, many people are fans of green. I personally prefer red, but lots of people like the green lights, and this is a green one. You have a ultra clear tempered glass on the front and it also has this uh, this little tactical um, glass breaker kind of design on the front if you wanted to I guess if you needed to smash somebody's face or if you were in your vehicle and needed to break some glass out uh, you could certainly use it for that as well but the, as far as the features of the the light uh, you got about six and a half inches in length it comes with a lanyard if you want to attach the lanyard to the back of it, it comes with this little holster that uh, you, know, you can attach that to your, your belt loop or, or uh, Velcro to your backpack or something. And uh, nice a little, nice little carry case. It could be clipped onto something like with a carabiner if you wanted to do that. And it comes out fairly easily. It also comes with some different O-rings, of course your 21700 battery that I already talked about, a user manual, and a warranty card. Now this uh, particular model, the L19 2.0, it has several different modes of operation. You can turn it on from the back, and when you turn it on from the back, it turns on at the last place that you had it set for. Now to change the different settings on it you don't manipulate the switch on the back there's a little pressure sensitive switch right here that you touch and you can cycle through that by you touch it to turn it on and you hold it changes it through the different settings there are four different intensity settings just by holding that so of course it's on the lowest now now if I turned it off on the back uh, well, you can you can just hit that real quick, a quick hit on the pressure switch, and it turns it off. Or you can turn it on or off from the back. Uh, that resets it though. When you turn it on from the back, uh, I think I told you wrong a minute ago. If you turn it on from the back, it always turns it on from high. Um, if you use if your pressure switch, then it has a memory of where it was at last. So you turn it on there, and see that's on low using the pressure switch. You got four settings. So I hold. And it changes, there's two, three, and then four. And then you also have a turbo mode. And to go into turbo mode, you double click. If you didn't double click it, you would go back and you can do the long hold and it just takes, um, goes back to your, your regular four, or the bottom end of the regular four settings. I guess that's because your tur turbo mode is going to use quite a bit more. So you've got... Uh, instead of saying they've got five modes, they required you to, to do a, a, a double click on that to enter the turbo because your, your battery is going to be more significantly used. And uh, it did not return to turbo whenever I used the, the lock switch. So the turbo mode is kind of a separate mode altogether. 
But let's see, let me, let me cycle through. Let's see, I'm on the third intensity setting here. Let's turn it off with the, with the pre quick pressure switch. Should come back on to that third setting. But there it is. Now, here we're going to do a double click to go to turbo. Yep, turn it off, and it will reset off of the turbo. Just like that. And there's turbo again. Goes back to three. So, pretty cool little memory system. We'll go to the fourth setting here. Long hold. Excuse me, that was the fourth setting, I'm sorry. Long hold. Long hold. Long hold. So, uh, pretty cool. There's also a strobe setting if you wanted to uh, triple click it. Uh, so if you want to have a seizure, then you can just uh, triple click that. Or I guess if you're in an emergency, <laughs> and you're not just looking to have a seizure, you would triple click it and uh, you can use that strobe mode. There is a lock and unlock process on this if you want to use that. So if you're going to jam it in your backpack or something and you wanted to lock it so that something did not accidentally turn it on, you can do that. The instructions that come with it easily walk you through how to do that. So now, uh, the last thing that I wanted to show you before we actually take it outside at night and uh, and look at this thing, what it does at nighttime is the, uh, right here you can't see it now, let me turn it on and you will be able to see. See right now we've got a little light that glows right here when it's turned on. Now that's green. Green means that this thing has greater than 30% battery life remaining. When this little thing, when this little light turns red, then that means you are below 30% battery life remaining. When it starts flashing red, that means you are at 10% or below and you need to you need to charge a battery or switch batteries out. And it only did come with the one battery. So you could either buy another 21700 or just let that be your indicator that uh, your hunt's almost over because your light's about to go out. But that's the, uh, that's the logistics. Let's take it outside, put it to use. All right, we're pitch black. You can see that's low intensity at 15 yards. I'm gonna go back to 60 yards here. These are targets that I've got set up. That's 60 yards, two, three, four. So that's full power at 60 yards. Easily, we got 80 yards right there. That's a 100 yard targets. I've got an eight inch and a three inch. You can easily see them. And then back there is 160 yards. So we are easily getting 160 yards. And let me turn it on turbo. Just kicked it up just a little bit. A little bit of difference between four and turbo but you can see easily out to almost 200 yards we have no problem that's an eight inch gong and a three inch gong that we're looking at so let's go through the different cycles here at 160 so there's low you can't even see it there is number two number three number four and then the turbo. So you're definitely gonna get 250, 300 yards with either number four or, or turbo as far as ID in an animal. You could probably ID one out to 300 yards with turbo. Well, there you go. That is the Ace Beam L19 2.0. I will put a link in the video description straight to this product if you guys are interested. One thing that I did fail to note was that though it does have multiple modes of, of intensity, it's got the four modes of intensity plus your turbo plus your strobe, it does not have a, a zoom feature. So I think this, if you like the green, I certainly wouldn't be afraid to use this flashlight, but I personally would want to use it not as a scanning flashlight but I would want to use it as my weapon mounted light to shoot with once you have spotted the animal and you have made a positive ID and you're ready to put your weapon on and take a shot at that animal. And with that said, since you're 
pressure since your main switch on the back uh, puts it straight to that number four setting. I think that's perfect. You would, uh, you've already ID'd your animal on your low setting with your scanning light and then you're ready to shoot and you can just hit that switch. This does come with a, a remote switch so you can mount this and put a different end cap on it and it's uh, got your little cord and you can put the uh, put the switch next to your trigger if you wanted to use this as a weapon mounted light and and I would would use it as that it, it has a very intense long beam on it and I like that um, and I, I do that anyway you know I've got for my red lights I've got a really intense one that has the long red beam and then I've got just a, a broad beamed red one that I use as a scanner so this to me would be your your shooting light that you would want on the weapon but hope you guys enjoyed this episode again follow the link in the video description to this product if you're interested in purchasing it I appreciate you guys for checking out the channel be sure to subscribe if you haven't already check out our playlist got tons of hunts and, and long-range shooting and all kinds of stuff on the channel appreciate you God bless you we'll catch you next time